Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is another ladder game between Obfuscation, that's Bladir, and Mephi. Both players playing Cybern as they always do. Kind of sad that they always do. It would be nice to see some some other factions from these guys, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? So the map, Forbidden Pass, uh, V4. Pretty classic ladder map. It's got this uh, lake, the Z, and uh, yes, let's see what happens. Ladder Arena, I think it still hasn't happened. But that's what these two guys are playing to uh, qualify for. As well as just having fun, of course. Mephi has gone for a lab. A little hunter. And a scout to help him out. I wonder will he run over his trees? He will. He's trying to dodge between the tree groups. But the scout is not dodging between... Oh, let's see. It's gonna break some trees. Maybe. Maybe not. I feel like he didn't. Anyway, we do have a lot of tree groups here. So that's gonna be used to... Uh, help power the initial build order. As you can see, six power generators. For an air factory, usually you would have... More than that. If you don't have tree reclaim, you're going to need a couple more pgens. Should see the ACU be assisted pretty soon. No expansion to the top side for Mephi yet, which is a bit strange, maybe. I'd be quickly sending one to the top, so maybe he has a different idea. Maybe he's going to use a transport to drop there. Or maybe, yeah, well, actually, Bladir is of the same mind. Both of them... Not prioritizing this expansion. Rather prioritizing tree groups. Look at this. And expanding uh, towards the hydrocarbon. Bit of a distant hydro on this map. So you gotta plan it uh, a little later. And you wanna be sh make sure that you don't then overbuild power in your base while you're making that. Try and time it so you... Uh, Stop building power. Don't build pigeons in your base when this is uh, almost finished. So already, well, we have no more factories being built just yet. See, engineers assisting the air factory to make a bomber quickly for a bladir, and he's going to build more factories down here outside the base. And yeah, a lot of assistance on the air factory early on. Mephi, a single engineer assisting for him. Bladir has already set three engineers on that. And this scout's going to find the bomber and the Inti is coming over here. I don't know if he maybe saw the bomber leave the base with that air scout. I think that might have been what happened. But that bomber is doomed. And that is very sad. It's always really sad when that happens. When you make a bomber out of your air factory. And it gets shot down without even dropping a bomb. You don't. Your opponent doesn't even have to dodge or anything. And you lose the bomber. That is sad. Wow. Really good uh, <laughs> tree reclaiming skills from Muffy. There's barely any trees left. Look at Bladir over here. It's got a whole forest. And so Muffy. A bit more reclaim for him. And he already has his transport out. And his transport is going to be a way better investment than that bomber from Bladir. So he's going south. You want to drop here or here generally. That's the normal way to do it. And he's going to drop here before there's any tanks here. Very, very few tanks on, on this so far. It's been... Uh, air has been the focus and yet air has not really achieved too much to be honest. I mean this is achieving a lot here, this drop. Now will he start with a factory or a PD? It's a PD. As a Mantis comes in, the PD will be able to defend the the engineers. Over here, 
Looks like an air loss for Mephi. I don't know why his air is here, to be honest. But he's going to try and run away. And regroup his inties. Now spending a lot on power. Big investment. And it's definitely time to invest because he's about to get all these mexes, these mexes, and these mexes. That is a lot of power going to be needed very soon. It's going to have a lot more requirements. And then after he builds those mexes, he'll probably be adding factories as well. And Mantis going to get a kill because this PD was uh, pretty far back. Oh, wow, he even saved that engineer. Not bad. Extremely slow getting these mexes, though. Don't know why people are so slow on these mexes, but uh, I guess he just forgot about them or something. Bloodier also pretty pretty slow. I think people could be faster expanding to those mexes generally. Oh, that's a good kill. Very sad for Mephi. It was just about to drop, but Bladir is making this air control work for him. Getting a nice kill there on three engineers in that transport, and of course the transport itself. So, more air production coming up for Mephi. Another factory going down. Vladir already has two, although only one is making inties or air of any sort at the moment. Mephi now heading to the west, heading to the left as Vladir's drop comes in long after Mephi has dropped his side. One thing you will find watching Vladir and Mephi play is they <laughs> play very similarly. <laughs> and so, not much difference here except the speed at what people at uh, speed that people achieve things so this drop a lot faster than blood ears which is definitely good for Mephi already has a couple of factories up but Mephi is actually leaving his base here without building anything and a scout is directly overhead seeing that there's nothing here and so blood ear is surely going to kill this and that's a whole base. Four mechs is gonna gonna die surely. Yeah, the air scout's still flying overhead, so he will eventually see that this is empty. Bladira on the other side, however, has two factories, and so it's a lot safer, obviously, than uh, zero factories. You often see PD built here. Mephi wants to build a PD, but the engineer's so far away that that seems unlikely. That that's gonna be built. Yeah, there's already units heading that way. Oh, a drop onto the plateau. This lab could potentially get something. Nope, he gets bombed is all. Factory gonna go up. No PD though, and all these units, unless s many of them die to a bomber, I think they can actually kill this expansion and deny it. Up here, this PD. Oh, wow. Already has eight kills. And the engineer is still alive. That's amazing. That's pretty clutch from that engineer to actually get that PD up and defend. But this is dead now. Definitely should build something there with your ACU. If you don't have any engineers to do it for you, I would always be building, building a factory in that expansion. Because you are completely cut off as a cyber and you don't have T1 hover. I mean, whether you have T1 hover or not, I guess you would really want to build... A factory here because you're completely cut off from the rest of your base. Oh, Mephi walking with, into two PDs with his commander. He's gonna take huge amounts of damage. Holy crap! He wa he went so deep in there, F under five k HP. Holy crap! Four and a half k, and he's he's in trouble with that issue. But this. This kill right here, this is great. Denying this expansion, it's because he had this, this expansion up so quickly. Also, maybe... Well, he does have a lot of factories here. Imagine he probably would have wanted one or two over here instead of over here, perhaps. But having all these factories here means he can actually do a lot of damage. And if he can take this expansion, which he actually has an engineer on the way, that would be really good for him. As he already has, has secured... 
This one thanks to the PD up here. But Bladir. With his ACU, he's actually pushed all the way up to the hydrocarbon of Mephi and killed it. Now he hasn't got many kills with his ACU, but one of them is a hydro. <laughs> Maybe he can walk back to this expansion and take it. Actually, he has a transport on the way. Going to try and drop there. This this uh, ACU is completely <laughs> defeated by the, the PDs. You really have to bring uh, artillery if you want to walk your commander across. You almost always uh, are going to be met with a PD. That's just the time it takes for the ACU to get to here and then all the way across to this side. There's probably going to be a PD when you get there. On the Eco, we have a couple of T2 Maxes. We have more air production being added. No T2 land or air so far for either player. Just a lot of a lot of T1 land and air and you can see it's working. Bladir managing to do do damage on this side, the Mephi's main side, as we have an air fight, and it looks pretty bad for Bladir. Looks like he's gonna lose the the uh Oh that's a weird turn that isn't he's that Mephi's Intis just took and they may actually lose because of it and I think that's because he was on attack move those Intis made a terrible move there and completely screwed him and now he's actually lost air and all the reclaim is directly over Bladir's uh, expansion on this side of the of the water But Mephi already has quite a few more Inties. He has a lot of production here now. With nice adjacency as well. And he starts a T2 ACU upgrade. And Bladir has actually walked to this expansion. He's also dropped those engineers. He's getting factories. Two PDs up already. And he looks in a strong position over here. And this expansion that he's taking back will make up for the expansion he's lost down here. Although... Again, Mephi has had this for longer. And Mephi has a lot of units on the bottom side. Which is a problem. There's not much production here. There's only two land factories on this side. And, I mean, do the math. We have five factories here and one almost finished here. Versus two to defend this choker. We need PDs. He is adding more factories here which is definitely required so maybe hmm, what are the options Bladir has lost his ground here and uh, Mephi's taking back these mexes maybe this is what he should be attacking so that these units can't rally across towards his base maybe Bladir should attack in this way perhaps and then just raid on the on the north end not sure but you see he's pretty secure over here so he doesn't need too much production and he doesn't really have too much production either but he has to has to deal with this all this land spam two t2 maxes for mephi doesn't look like there's any more coming one more about to finish for blood air that's nice for him as we have a very even game mephi definitely has a uh, more air production and he's also making multiple drops at the same time just for fanciness but he's gonna drop them right into units three artillery being dropped to this location reasons unknown it doesn't look good and actually this trans these transports may get shut down oh there's three transports moving at the same time amazing <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, a huge attack. And there's a load of power generators built on the low ground, not in the main base. And they're all gonna go down. That's huge damage. Some mantis dying in the f with the power generators. That's not ideal, but who cares? Look at the amount of power that was just killed. And Bladir goes down to 420 power. <laughs> of 
course he does. Damn, now he's so far behind. He's less than half the power of Mephi. There's no way that he can hold on to air control. He also lost the hydrocarbon at the same time. And this is huge damage for Bladir to sustain from this T1 land. As Mephi actually emerges from the water with T2 finally done on his ASU. And he's making T2 PDs to take back this expansion. I think a factory and some Medusa might do it as well. But uh, PDs work as well. They work. Maybe a bit more expensive. T2PD is managing to fire over the wall. That's quite nice. And over here you can see the bug with the walls where it shoots. Look, it's actually killed two walls behind this T1PD before finishing it off. Lovely. That's the reason people wall their PDs. Their T1 PDs doesn't work for T2 PDs. Uh, there's a shit ton of land scouts here for Bladir, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Look at the amount of them. He has 27. I think he messed up here somewhere. One of these queues is messed up. But he looks to have fixed it. By now, there's a lot of T1 land heading for his main base. Quite a lot. And now, yeah, the emergency PD is going up. He's added so many more factories here in the main base, but he's still taking all of this damage. He's getting the reclaim back here, but he has to replace the P-Gens, and let's see if he has. It's up to 680 power, so he has added several more power generators, still lagging far behind Mephi, who perhaps could make use of this air that he... Well, let's, let's see, let's see. 21... Surely Mephi has more. Yeah, double. Exactly double right now. Might be time for T2 Air from Mephi. T2 Air is a great option on this map. It's, things are very spread out. There's a lot of Medusa. Which is exactly what you need to attack a base like this. But I think he's going to get held off. There's enough tanks here. Now they are an attack move, so they could get absolutely annihilated. Oh, yeah. Don't attack move versus T1 artillery would be my advice. But when there's that many Medusa, it's pretty hard to dodge anyway, to be honest. I also have Medusa back here. Medusa plus T1 PD is very nice to defend. You make T1 artillery, put it next to your T1 PDs to uh, kill the artillery that are killing your T1 PDs. But you're trying to do something similar to what Mephi has done on the other side and he's killed two factories, the Hydro. This Max, he wants to move towards the base. Space is very compact. Factories blocking the entrance. Oh, the pathfinding is messing up here. And there's a PD just finished. And Rhino's coming out of this T2 land HQ. Rhinos will spell the end of this. Oh, imagine a bomb landing on here. That's what I want to see. Oh, there's Medusa firing. Somewhere. Oh, damn, the units are getting deep into the base. Both the T1 PDs have gone down. On the top side, this expansion has finally been taken care of. Ladir has killed it and goes ahead in the income. Look at that, he's about 12 ahead as Bladir for some, for some reason has, well, for for some reason. Because he's Bladir, he has unfortunately suicided his heir as he, uh, <laughs> he may or may not do on occasion. And Mephi has complete air control. We're going to see a lot of bombers come out and maybe then we'll see T2 air. It's Rhino has got lost and it's in the middle of all these mantis exactly where you don't want to be and he gets taken down actually multiple rhinos have died here in this fight but all that reclaim should be for for Mephi if he can hold on on the other side damn both people both players taking mad damage in their base and PD's going further and further back two fact three factories have gone down power generators have died this base under so much pressure and there's still 
almost no units here and more rallying in for, for Mephi constantly. As the ACU for Mephi is lurking in the water. I'm not sure what his plan is. He did take back this expansion. See the T2PDs actually did a lot of damage. He got a, got a factory, something he didn't do last time. He learned his lesson there. And actually T2 land in this expansion for Bloodier. This looks more like a main base than uh, than his starting spawn does now. As it oh T2 Max goes down, another T2 Max is surely gonna go down as well. He has to get more units across here. He has to. But it's not happening, and he's losing so much stuff to the Medusa. PDs are dying. Actually, this one is in range of a lot of these Medusa. So he can hold on a little longer, but he's already lost the T2 Max. He's lost his production, so he's going to have less units here. Rather than more. Blood Deer looks like he's moving across to the right, where all the units are spawning from. And that would definitely ease the pressure on, on the main base. He could have perhaps attacked this a long time ago. But, uh, in f to be honest, he did quite a bit up here maybe maybe it's more of a mass donation there's so much mass left here on this side T1 bombers for Mephi raiding this expansion taking out the mexes and that's a pretty nice move you can do that very quickly over here Bladeers emerge from the water with the gun directly into two T2PDs but he's confident he can take them out as long as he has overcharge it should be fine but well, even without overcharge, well, it means he takes a fair bit of damage, to be honest. Unfortunately, he's actually getting hit by Medusa as well. That's going to do a lot more damage, and he's not moving. But the Medusa largely miss. But still, yeah, he took quite a lot of damage. He got 1k back, 1K back for his uh, veteran seat. This expansion has been run over so convincingly. Very large army needs to finish off all these factories Mephi dominating air there's a push in this area there's we got Wagner's pushing forward trying to attack but Mephi's collecting starting to collect all this mass let's look at the reclaim yeah he is already 2000 mass ahead air is completely dominated Mephi needs to be careful he doesn't uh, fly over anti for too long or fly over flak soon so there should be some flak around. Now there's just T2 land. Bladir's finished these. He should be uh, taking the reclaim, getting this expansion back very shortly. More factories being built. He's, he's, Bladir's under so much pressure in the main base. Maybe he could send Wagner's across to attack here. Oh, he's sending this army that's cleaned out this base across to def to uh, head back towards the main yeah that's where he's sending the Wagners these T1 units need to run up here quick and uh, take out this expansion Mephi has dropped this expansion retaken it he's trying to attack here take out the PDs but some hunters have been enlisted to finish off the lonely Medusa oh there's so much going on Rhino's now fighting against Wagners on the low ground and a shit ton of air scouts they're all gonna get absolutely murdered by this anti turret which is gonna vet and everything the ACU for Mephi is heading very very close to the main base of Bladir and that is a T2 ACU the expansion dies finally up here this expansion needs to be taken very quickly by by Bladir over here Oh, the ACU finds the Wagners. Does he have overcharge? He does have overcharge. And there goes two Wagners. These Wagners that were needed to defend are going to die to the ACU and the, well, the Medusa as well. Mainly the ACU. Still total air control. Still no T2 air though. Reclaim Mephi is getting even further ahead. He's gotten... 2k mass further ahead and reclaim since I checked maybe two minutes ago and as he pushes with his commander and 
kills stuff and even reaches this location he can now put down a factory get more reclaim very quickly and there's more units for Mephi than there are for, for Bladir here and uh, that's very worrying when you're talking about uh, player's main base very worrying indeed Bladir has not taken this expansion and he didn't take the T2PD ma mass either I don't know I uh, I guess he wanted to very quickly get somewhere where there's uh, build power so that he can make anti-air and stand beside it because he's in a lot of danger potentially with uh, just f no air in comparison to what Mephi has also very little air production he has no engineers to assist these factories anymore he doesn't have any air production here either maybe he should make some here in fact he also doesn't have any T2 support factories to make flak he only has his HQ from what I can see the rest are T1 factories oh there's so much mass building up here but this, this is the kind of mass you have to manually get because it's in the trees shit ton of mass here though and it is trying to take it should probably build a factory there pretty quick to uh, grab it faster Oh, four factories right outside the main base of Bloodir, built by Mephi or even captured in the case of this one, I think. And the Medusa are going to shoot up into the base from below and potentially kill units and all these factories. Actually, T2PD for Mephi as well. He thinks better of this one. You always want to try and be building forward in this scenario doesn't want to build to the side that's not very useful you want to gain more ground so he repositions it into a better spot this somehow Mephi I think he a factory was left alive here perhaps but somehow Mephi was retaking this after Bladir killed it and now it's dying again 5k lead on reclaim mass income slightly better for Mephi but the map control, I mean the parts of the map that Mephi has well the difficulty is is uh, Bladir has to get the reclaim and the reclaim is being denied to him constantly Mephi is heading towards the base PD creeping into Bladir's base at 25 minutes on Forbidden Pass he builds the, the T1 PD forward and there's going to be a lot more PDs coming. An army of Medusa stands behind him, ready to move in. Bladir trying uh, some kind of flanking maneuver to take out uh, a couple of factories and mexes. And maybe kill these factories as well that are producing Medusa. So it could be a good option, but uh, what the hell is he doing against... Uh, the T2PDs. There's barely any Medusa in the base now to attack. Medusa can be so good, amazingly good versus T2PDs because of their stun. You can see the Cerberus just does nothing for a couple of seconds. But there's no Medusa left now. And Bladir is losing his main base to this PD creep. <laughs> and he also lost his engineers and this expansion no reclaim for a while over here oh Mephi with a very very nice T2 army and it looks like he's completely decimated what Bladir had here complete victory and so many more T2 units coming up behind and that has to be because there's only the HQ there's no T2 support factories here so definitely much more production for Mephi seem two support Two support factories, the base slowly dying to these PDs and now forward T1 PD as well to do a bit more damage as Bloodier calls it a day. GG. Well played. Both players, so much going on in that game. Expansions going back and forth. I mean how many, uh, this one died multiple times, this one it's dead at the end of the game swapped hands this one contested heavily and this one as well 
And uh, even this one got contested in the end. The main base of Bladir. So we saw a lot in that game. Where is where is Bladir's ACU gone? Where did he go? Oh, he was here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was, of course, his his uh, ACU has exploded already. Don't mind that. So he went back to here to take back this expansion. I think we can definitely say Mephi's ACU uh, performed a lot better than Bladir's. T2 was more effective than Gun here. I mean, if this Gun Com maybe was over here fighting on this side, maybe that would be a lot better because that's where most of the fighting was taking place. And maybe he could support his units. But uh, yeah, Mephi went all around the map with this ACU, came out of the water here, took back this expansion, walked the whole way down, and then PD creeped into the base at 25 minutes. Amazing strategy. Worked very well. Probably because uh, the HQ was, and a lot of the production was uh, never in the main base. In fact, it was like, had production here and in the expansion, so... Anyway, that is that for this cast. Hope you enjoyed it. Because it was a good one. And I will see you soon for another video. See ya.